Hello there, this is Kush from creativepatphotography.com. Uh, I hope you've been following the Photoshop tutorial for beginners video series. And in this video, we will be learning about the patch tool in Photoshop. So uh, if you remember from the last part, if you've seen part three, where we learn about the spot healing brush tool, uh, we were having some problems with this image. So we could correct this part using the spot healing brush tool, but we could not correct uh, this part that is we could not remove uh, this couple from the shot so you saw that the spot healing brush tool wasn't really working so we'll be removing them in this video by using the patch tool right but before we start with this image I want to go back to this image so I would attach both these images in the description of this video so that you can work with download these and uh, you know work along with me so right so this is our image and we'll I'll be demonstrating the use of patch tool uh, by showing you how you can correct some things in this image. So this is a panning shot and to access the uh, patch tool you can just uh, go down here where you accessed your spot healing brush tool and all you have to do this time is go on to the third uh, option here which is called as the patch tool, right? So let's see how we can do some things on this uh, image, right? So if you see this image you know this thing bothers me right the line on the road the divider is not continuous so something here was not right and it's broken off and it's not really looking good so your patch tool can patch this up right so let's see how you can do that so once you select the patch tool you see you'll be seeing some options here right uh, I would say don't change any of those options so let this remain on source let it be on normal and let this be on the first option here you don't really have to know uh, there's one option you have to know which is here uh, you have two options here one is normal and another is content aware so I'll just be telling you in this image uh, through this image what is the difference between the two right so you have your patch tool here so let's use this so I'll show you how this works all you have to do here is um, first select the area that you want to be uh, you know you want uh, to be patched up basically so we want this area to be patched up and so I'm just going to draw. So once you select this tool, it's like it works like the lasso tool. If you remember from part two, where you can manually draw a selection. So I'm able to draw this and this is the part I want to patch up. So this represents my source. OK, so this is my source. And all I have to do now is I have to move this source over to the destination wherever I want uh, from from where I want the structure to be patched up so i want this part to come here right so i've selected my source and all i'm going to do is once this is selected i'm just simply going to drag this and move it over here okay and i'm just going to hit control plus delete and you can see that we it has automatically patched up even though the brightness or the exposure of this part was slightly different than this but that's the beauty of the patch tool the moment you move something over uh, not only does it copy the uh, the the design or the structure here it also copies like it also you know integrates it or blends it very well according to the brightness of the source area so uh, the job that you do is good so you can see here i, I probably should have moved it slightly down but i just want to show you how uh, you know this is done if you show this to someone who's not seen this image before there's absolutely no way that they can come to know that this has been patched right and that's what your aim uh, has to be when you use a tool not really to be absolutely perfect uh, about things so so that's how you uh, basically use a patch tool and I should do what I preach so I should definitely do this all on a duplicate layer okay right so that's uh, how you use the patch tool so I've just got back to our original by undoing and I'm going to just show you now what the difference is when you choose content aware because uh, we'll be also using this in the second image so when you choose content aware everything remains the same it's just that the blending part is not really uh, working or doesn't work so you basically when you move this to the destination is going to copy exactly whatever is there on your destination without uh, correcting for exposure or blend, blending it very well so it basically is almost like a copy paste so if I uh, remove the selection now you can see it looks more like a patch because it's it has exactly copied what was here it has not 
blended in this patch very well according to the exposure of this part which might be have which might have been slightly different here but you'll see so of course for this image which one will you use of course you'll use normal right uh, like the first uh, time around we did it but also content aware is used in a lot of situations and you'll see its use in this image so let's go here right so this is uh, the image that we were not able to correct using spot healing brush tool. So I'm just going to duplicate the layer. By the way, the shortcut for duplicating a layer is Control plus J. Okay. So that's J for um, J for Joker. So that's <coughs> Control plus J. And so we have this image now. Before I actually go on to the patch tool, let's do a quick revision. So <coughs> what is wrong right now in this image is, of course, apart from this thing that we're going to correct is that is just some parts are just slightly underexposed, right? So uh, this is uh, the light meter in the middle shot with 30 seconds, but sometimes when you're shooting in the night, uh, your meter is not very reliable, right? Because there are a lot of dark areas and other stuff. So that's not a problem. So what we can simply do, like we saw in the first part of this video series is go to your um, camera raw filter. And simply, so quiz time. Which, if you were to move one slider here to correct this image, which one would you choose? I'll give you five seconds. Which are the dark parts? Right, so if you get, sh if you get shadows, then you're correct. So what I'm going to just quickly do is just going to raise the shadows a bit. Right, so you can see it immediately improves our image before, after. So that's how quickly you can correct your exposure and get a much better looking image if you know how to edit things so now we've got this uh, part sorted out but let's get these people right so we want to remove them we saw that the spot healing brush tool didn't do a very good job uh, so we are on patch now this time you'll see that the normal patch tool doesn't really work too well so what's going to happen is so i'm going to select my source so this is the thing i want to be patched up and i want to patch it up by moving it to something here so that it looks similar right so if i do this you'll see that if you remember if now if i just press Control plus d to deselect now what is happening here is patch tool is actually working properly but what is happening is trying to match the the, the difference in brightness it's trying to blend this part just like it did the last time but last time it worked but for this image we don't want uh, these people at all right so we want to completely replace them with this uh, other part so this is a chance where you'll actually be using content aware right so i'm just gonna go back to this and we'll do the same process again so here's our ghost friend and just gonna drag it here so sometimes you have to use this tool uh in bits and pieces like this because your destination is not too big right so uh, if this was huge like this part then i could have just selected the whole thing and dragged it uh, onto that and since the design on this tree is pretty random so uh, you won't really come to know that you've done this maybe you will but someone who sees this image for the first time will not do this try to move it slightly different parts so that the randomness of the tree uh, remains also while I'm doing this I should point out that the order of the usage of these tools uh, in my opinion now any uh, everyone might have a different opinion regarding this but i i really love the spot healing brush tool so i always first of all that's the tool that i go for and if that does not work that's the time i go in for any other tool the reason being is just too easy to use that uh, tool but you saw that in this case it didn't really work too well right so and that's the reason we're going on to something more complex Okay, I'm really tempted to not fully complete this, but I will. Okay. Right, so I think that's about it. And maybe a little bit here. So 
try to patch it up with something similar on the sides like this right now I think I patched up this area slightly uh, you know too many times with the same area so what I can again do is I can just select this part probably drag it up here or probably here maybe here let's see which one looks good uh, again you can see a bit of a repeat of a pattern so that that is of course a problem sometimes but it's not something that is a big issue right so if I show you the before right and so of course keep your eye here only on the people because we of course change the shadows also but you can see that if someone sees this now for the first time they won't really be able to uh, guess that there was anyone standing here right uh, so of course most of the times all this is done automatically if your spot healing brush tool uh, works but if it does not uh, then then actually you should uh, go on to something called as content aware tool which i'm going to be showing in the next video and even if that does not work that's the time you should go on to the patch tool but again that's just my preference uh, <coughs> if you like the patch tool a lot of people love the patch tool <coughs> and they kind of both these tools kind of do something uh, very very similar it's just that for for some images only a specific tool will work right so i hope you like this video and that it helped you i'll see you in the next video where i'll be teaching you about another way, very similar tool called as the content aware tool all right so i'll see you in that video bye for now